How's it going everybody? Too spooky here. And welcome back to Devil Fruits Explained, where we go in depth with the various Devil Fruit abilities and how they work. In today's installment, we're going to be going over Bartolomeo's Devil Fruit, the Bari Bari no Mi, or Barrier Barrier Fruit. This Devil Fruit allows Bartolomeo to manifest indestructible barriers of varying shapes and sizes, making him a barrier human. To begin, I should clarify that we don't know 100% for sure if these barriers are completely indestructible or not. However, from what we've seen, I think we can assume that they are, at least for the time being. As from what we've seen, these barriers could block against things like the Birdcage, Fishman Karate, and even King Elizabello's King Punch, which, quite frankly, is one of the most powerful non-Devil Fruit techniques in the series thus far. So with that knowledge, I think we can assume these barriers can't be broken at all, or at the very least, not very easily. <laughs> Moving on, to actually produce one of these barriers, Bartolomeo needs to first cross his fingers, and keep them crossed for the duration he wants to keep the barriers active. The general consensus is that he needs to cross his fingers on both hands to use the barriers, but we've also seen a few instances where he's able to do this with just one hand, and we've also seen a few instances where he appears not to be crossing his fingers at all. So perhaps the size of the barrier he wants to manifest could be the deciding factor on needing to cross his fingers on only one, or both hands, or none at all. Speaking of the size of these barriers, the barriers can also be a variety of different sizes. However, there is a limit to the size that Bartolomeo can actually produce. As for instance, he mentioned that his barriers would not be big enough to stop Pika's fist. So we do know at the very least the size is somewhat smaller than that. In addition to varying sizes, the barriers can also be transformed into different shapes, via what Bartolomeo calls barrierability. The best example being the stairs he created to allow Luffy and the others quick access to the upper plateau in Dressrosa. And from what we saw, these stairs were actually extremely massive in length. However, Bartolomeo also mentioned that the size of the stairs was basically the maximum amount he could produce. From his use of the stairs, we also learned that he can only use one barrier at a time, which in my opinion is the perfect handicap so that this Devil Fruit isn't massively OP. Although if you ask me, it's still pretty OP. We also later learned that although the barriers can protect from basically any attack you could possibly imagine, they are not soundproof. So although this is purely speculation, if Bartolomeo were to completely conceal himself within a barrier to protect himself from all sides, he would still be susceptible to audible attacks, meaning that something like Scratchman Apu's Instrument Devil Fruit could be one of this fruit's natural weaknesses. The final thing I want to mention before we go on to his various techniques would be the fact that these barriers can be manifested as a sort of transparent glass, or they can be manifested completely invisible to the naked eye. So if the user wanted to really throw their opponent off guard, they could produce these barriers without their knowledge by making them completely invisible at any time, to the point where their opponent wouldn't know why they can't move forward, land hits, or even allow them to figure out what they are getting injured by. Because in addition to shaping the barriers, Bartolomeo can also propel these barriers or move them at his own will. So he can take that indestructible wall and send it flying into his opponent for massive damage, or simply as a method to push them back to gain distance on his opponent. But now that we've got the general explanation out of the way, let's move on to its various techniques. First off, we of course have the generic square or circular barrier, which is used to protect Bartolomeo from any attacks that come his way, and it can also be used as a method to injure his opponents, such as when Hack broke his hand simply by punching the barrier with his fishman karate. Secondly, we have Barrier Crash, which is what we just mentioned about Bartolomeo being able to propel his barriers forward at his enemies, with the purpose of crashing into them with great speed and force. From what we've seen, the force of this technique is also enough to knock out opponents and even create a shockwave afterwards, meaning that it packs quite the punch. K.O. Thirdly, we have another variation of the classic barrier and the barrier crash, which is called Barrier Bowls, which is basically where Bartolomeo creates a large and wide barrier with a curved top, similar to an ocean wave. He then charges his enemies while propelling the barrier bowl forward in front of him, making it so the barrier crashes into everything and everyone in front of it. With that knowledge, it also works best when up against a group of enemies, although it also doesn't discriminate against allies, unless of course it's a straw hat. Next up, we have the Barrier Ball, which is essentially a gigantic spherical ball. And it's spherical! <laughs> spherical! <laughs> 
that is used to contain something or protect whoever is inside the ball. We saw Bartolomeo first use this technique against Gladius as a way to contain Gladius's suicide bombing attempt from hitting his comrades. Then we have the barrier ability techniques, which are basically just morphing the barriers into various shapes like we mentioned earlier. The only two examples we've seen thus far is the stairs like we mentioned before, and also a large racket, kind of like a tennis racket. Although I do need to mention that because he can shape it into various shapes, he could also likely do it for many other shapes that we haven't seen thus far, such as maybe forming the barriers into things like a hammer or other useful weapons. Something that I thought would be pretty cool would be if Bartolomeo was able to create a regular square barrier, except he uses barrier ability to make giant spikes protrude out the front. He could then use a technique like barrier crash to send this indestructible spiked barrier at his opponent with great force, greatly injuring his opponent or maybe even killing them. But since we haven't seen that yet, maybe it's just not possible, but I thought it would be really cool. The final technique we've seen is a technique that mimics another, which is the Bari Bari No Pistol, mimicking Luffy's Gomu Gomu No Pistol, by creating a small spherical barrier around his fist, and then punching his opponent with the barrier fist in the same fashion as Luffy. But other than that, that is basically everything we know about the Bari Bari No Me thus far. I personally think this Devil Fruit is one of the best, and for good reason. Before we go, I'd like to ask you guys if there's anything else you think this Devil Fruit might be capable of doing that we just haven't seen yet. I mentioned that spiked barrier earlier, so I'm interested to hear your guys' thoughts as well. As far as a possible awakening goes, if it's anything like the other awakened paramecias, it might allow Bartolomeo to make his surroundings into more barriers that he can also manipulate. Through this, he could also likely use his barriers to just simply crush someone by forming around them and then just kind of collapsing into itself. As for instance, we did see Bartolomeo use a barrier to pin someone up against a wall and then keep applying force against them to basically crush them. So if he really wanted to, he could just use his barriers to crush people in general. But then you slap on the fact that during a possible awakening, everything around him is a barrier that he can possibly manipulate. So then he can just wrap that barrier around someone and squash them. If that was possible, I'd reckon that this could be one of the most powerful awakened fruits if it ends up being the case. But since those are just theories, let's put it aside for now, but let me know what you guys think. But anyway, that is the Bari Bari no Me or Barrier Barrier Fruit explained. Hopefully you guys learned something new or found a better understanding of how this devil fruit works. If you did, well make sure to drop the absolute fattest like you possibly can. While you're at it, be sure to subscribe for more Devil Fruit Explained videos like this one, and comment which devil fruit you guys would like explained next. Drop a follow on Twitter at 2SpookyTube to keep up with the channel. And if you cannot get enough devil fruit content, well be sure to click here for the previous installment about Monet's devil fruit, the Yuki Yuki no Mi, or click here for an explanation of Sengoku's devil fruit, the Hito Hito no Mi model Daibutsu. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all soon with a new video.